And the Cabinet Secretary for Information, Communications and the Digital Economy, Eliud Owalo, has assured the journalism fraternity of the government's commitment to defend the freedom of media and other civil liberties. Owalo said conflicts that may arise between the two will always be managed and transformed for the overall good of the society as the government will look at the media as partners in governance and not competitors. He called upon the media to work closely with the government in its vision to, of making Kenya a digitized society, emphasizing that they have a role to play to leverage on ICT for sustainable development. If in media, we, don't, we do not believe in media censorship or gagging of the media. We believe that if the media is responsible, then the media should be able to regulate itself in line with the laws of the land and, of course, ethics, ethical dictates of your very profession. My ministry, and of course by extension the entire Kenya Kwanzaa government, will continue to defend the freedom of the media <coughs> alongside other civil liberties. We are just coming out of an election period and if you look at our records, there are dozens of journalists who came under attack, who came under threats by politicians and by goons hired by politicians for no sin other than for doing their job. We owe these fellow citizens a duty to make sure that their cases are not pushed under the carpet. The intimidation, the harassment, the beatings, the uh, throwing, being thrown out of, of rooms, and nothing happens. Nothing happens to give justice and to allow journalists to do their job. Now, more than ever, the media is under digital siege, making your work complex. Personal and violent attacks on journalists are becoming more commonplace online with women being particularly vulnerable to sexual and gender-based violence. This has a negative effect on journalists who are forced to retreat in silence. As the ODPP, we thus assure you of your commitment to ensuring the protection of the media space and your security in Kenya at all times.